your spiritual life is tested based on your passion for god there are certain things that start happening in your life that you know there is danger number one your prayer life your when your prayer life is is nose diving don't ever pretend that is a dimension of growth you are backsliding immediately once your prayer life is going down don't let satan fool you and say you are just in a season where uh, god doesn't want you to say anything or this and that and that be very careful because it could be deception to destroy you your spiritual life number two your passion for the word number three your passion for the house of god number four i want to call it your your sense of morality is important if all of a sudden i sit down and i find out that i start lusting after you call me apostle call me whatever i'm lusting after you i came for koinonia i saw you abel is preaching cain is there disturbing his mind what do you think i'll do it will be stupid for me to wear suit again and come back i'll use the week to flog out that element of the flesh that is growing many of us ignore those promptings until it grows to a point where it backfires obviously that's when we start crashing in the moment see the bible says let sin have no place don't give the devil a foothold the moment you find out that there is a place there is there are certain things you are bending on your values you don't pray for three days or four days you feel all right very very all right you carry your bible and there is no zeal to read sometimes it could be in the presence of god you'll be able to find out whether it's spiritual fatigue or it is backsliding are we together but ultimately the difference between spiritual fatigue and backsliding is that under spiritual fatigue your passion is still there it's just the zeal and the strength to press to that is not there but under backsliding your zeal and your passion dies